it's called uh, The Wall of Cliché. Uh, it's a cartoon wall of 20, 25 cartons where some cliché have been uh, printed on it. It's a cliché about Europe, especially European Parliament and people. Uh, uh, if they are Eurocaptic, they will be agree with it and you can have a discussion about it. And if people are pro-European, then they can wrote a word on it and hide the cliché. Uh, it's it's uh, very attractive because it's really big, you know. And if you saw that he's proactive, you you could have a, a strong discussion for recruiting him. The wall should be up in place before noon uh, because uh, it's uh, the best moment of the day. There's the maximum passages of people, and uh, we uh, we are uh, holding the wall until. Um, until 3, 4 o'clock and after that we try to convince the people who uh, had uh, wrote the argument against the cliché to came and, and destroy the wall. After that we are sharing a drink and we could uh, really uh, have the moment to, uh, to speak uh, uh, more individually. Uh, we organized a Café Europe uh, on the evening so we have these uh, activities in the afternoon and we can promote the Café de Café Europe uh, uh, on the evening and uh, try to convince the guy to come or the girl to come to the uh, evening activities. Uh, every academic year there is a student kickoff organized at the end. It's like a festival atmosphere and um, during the kickoff, we have to stand with a tent and uh, then we put like flags of Europe and, and we try to uh, uh, talk to the young people coming like, hey, you know Jeff, no, do you know something about Europe? And um, yeah, once you start talking with people, you notice, are they interested, are they not? Uh, what, what are their uh, interests in Europe or in the federalist part? If you only understand, you, uh, you shouldn't be a uh, seat. Uh, behind the table. You should be in front of the table, we uh, try to chat with the people. Uh, it's really important to, uh, to uh, make contact. Uh, I think it's also important to be eye catching uh, If you have some flag, if you have some poster, if you have some roll-up, you should uh, bring it. You have to go and speak with people, not stand still behind your stand and waiting for people to come and speak to you because that, they will never come. But if you go and speak to them and be interested and smile, it might be very efficient. You go to uh, classes presenting what you're going to do, also uh, distributing flyers, uh, and, yeah, in fact also just talking to people, uh, to friends, uh, invite them to uh, your uh, activity. So I think it's important that you're not going there on your own, but that you're going as a group or at least with two people, three people, or something like that. Uh, that you show that you have really something to offer them. I advise people to come uh, with a boy and a girl. If you can, really people uh, are more attractive, it's just life. The most important thing is organizing good activities and invite, try to invite other people as well, not just people of your own network, but try to go to other classes at the university, not just politics, but also to law, economics, uh, and even more than that. Try to do something with several organizations, like youth organizations. Some can do theater, some can do music, yours the jazz, and you can do something together which would bring new people. This way you can always find new people who might be interested in your organizations. And, uh, it's the same with the training days we organize right now as well. But it's also for new chairs or just people who really don't know the organization yet but, but are really, really interested. You should uh, take care if there is a European Studies Society to the University or uh, if you are uh, at uh, some other association like Erasmus Student Network, AEGEE -E, or ELSA, uh, European Law uh, Student Association. Debates with a political party, I think, can also bring people who are already involved in political life. It's really important to work in cooperation with the other association. 
event, I think, more than anything. Um, the best ways we've had are hosting a talk by somebody who's uh, quite important. So we had uh, Lord Hane, I don't know if you know him or not, but uh, he, uh, he's been very crucial to European enlargement and he's British. Um, and so he was an attraction when we brought him in. We had a good turnout and a few of them joined the, the YAM. In Jeff Ghent, we always uh, made sure that we introduce ourselves before the activity. And uh, we also put like a, a table with some information about Jeff and also a list where the people just could write their email address um, if they are interested in what we are doing or if they want to become a member. The main topic is really to have a, a maximum of uh, email address. You have to make it a little bit funny and you have to take care that you, uh, you organise uh, informal activities as well as social activities. If you go out in the evening, if you go out, uh, that you organize yeah, something that yeah, uh, creates friendship, friendship, right? because that's the basis of everything in an organization. I think. Uh, we're organizing the screening of uh, Eurovision. Um, in, um, it's called the Union Bar, but it's, it's a really big, really big screen, and there's drinks there. And, Hopefully that'll be like a casual event to get people interested. And I want, I want to do more stuff like that, like uh, European food nights and film nights and things like that. Uh, we've organised a few uh, pub crawls, um, so uh, bringing in the Erasmus students, that was a, that was a good idea. Uh, and again, it's another way of getting lots of members. It's, it makes it seem less, like, less serious and more, more fun thing to do. You're socialising with other Europeans and that, that seems to do the trick. Mm -hmm.